welcome back to repairing lawnmowers for profit you might have seen in the previous video I, uh, I was just showing a few people who'd asked me questions about governor springs whether they should replace them uh, and basically what I did is I do what I always done I've done loads and loads of videos replace the diaphragm and gasket didn't touch the governor springs and proved it was nothing to do with the springs so I've just removed this spark plug here you can see I'm going to take that plug right out what I want to show on this SP470 as you know is my favourite mower I've had the best sale results with these because I've got that many of them turning around so quicker than anything probably apart from some great sales on the Hondas but anyway never sell a mower like this because this isn't correct this blade here apart from all this grass that wants taken off under here this blade here isn't sat on these pins you see how these pins actually don't sit through these holes that means it's blading on correctly so luckily for me it doesn't it doesn't sort of try and rip my arm off when I start it but I'm kind of amazed it doesn't so if you see a mower like this, please don't sell it on, because I, I always think this blade could come off. It should be level with this blade adapter, and it should have two pins through here. Um, and it should all be correct, really. It's not difficult to do, so I'm going to show you how to change this blade adapter, or blade boss, on a Mountfield petrol lawnmower. So the first thing I've done, as I've said, is I've just taken the spark plug out there. I've got to get this bolt undone somehow, so I'm going to get a socket on there. I'm going to spray this with WD-40, um, and I'll leave it for ten minutes. I actually got a comment the other day saying... Did you just say you spray it with WD-40 then you go in for some tea? That's the most British thing I've ever heard. Um, but actually that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray this with WD-40 and I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Right, so I've left that for a few minutes. Um, what you might want to do now, this one isn't too bad. Just get a wire brush and make sure you get all the edges of this bolt through here. Make sure you get them all cleaned off so your socket doesn't start slipping. So once you get it rounded off, you'll never get it off. So make sure it's nice and clean before you put your socket on. Right, so let's have a go at getting this off. What I generally tend to do, once I've made sure this spark plug's completely, completely off the machine, um, is I get a socket on there, and I, I normally put something around the blade here, and I just try and squeeze the two together. Right, so let's try that again. These are, this is a tight one, this. Um, I'll just get a bit of cloth here. I don't have any impact socket. I do have impact sockets, but my uh, compressor really isn't it's powerful enough to do this, so um, I've just got to kind of do it like this. It's just starting to go. I can feel it now. I'm only just turning, but it's just beginning to turn. Just a bit of a pain. But we'll get there. We always do eventually. But I would rather do this and uh, cut my thumb like I've just done than send it to someone else and be wondering. If the blade's going to stay on, I'd hate to do that and I would never do it. So eventually, after a couple of minutes of fumbling around, I've got this loose. Just take this off here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. As you can see here, this is supposed to have two pins on here. Um, see the smash there, so they've obviously hit something. Um, I know the mower runs all right, because I've done it in the previous videos, I've just serviced the carb on this. But what I'm gonna do before I take this little cover off that covers, this is actually a, a belt guard. Before I take this off, this actually unbolts from here. Not sure if you can see, I'll put my camera on there. Before I do that, I'm just gonna go in the garage and see if I've got uh, any more of these uh, blade adapters. I think I've got a couple. So somewhere, I think, in a bit of a tidy up there, somewhere I might have, I think I left some out. Let's have a quick look. Uh -huh. Just realised, I was stood here, I thought, I've, I've just realised why I can't find anything, it's because I've tidied it up. I've actually got myself a box, just a few bits in, and um, I've remembered where they are, I think. Bought one. I bought one a while ago. I think I bought one for my mower as well. And then instead of just buying one at the time, I think I bought a couple. What I'm trying to show you is the pins on here. It's actually got a couple of pins on. And you get different width ones of these. They look the same. So we'll take this one off now. I know I might have one. We'll take this one off. There's another one there as well. And the difference between having a drive one and not having a drive one is this uh, part where the belt runs around here. You can actually buy different ones of these. If I remember, I'll put uh, a few links to a few different places that sell these for different uh, mowers. 
So I'm going to take this belt guard off and I'm going to take the uh, blade adapter off and we're going to swap it over. While it's off as well I might as well just um, sharpen this blade up as well. I'm just going to uh, undo this belt guard here, it's just held on by, I think it's a 10 socket, it must be a, bit, a little bit bigger than that. Yes, I've actually got the, uh, the right socket, it's actually 13 there, that takes off, so we'll just undo this. And then you can see, you can get in a lot better, you can take everything apart and I can show you exactly what I'm doing. We can clean this belt guard out as well, so, you can see how much grass is under here, I'll have to... Uh, Actually, go over this with my lawnmower later. <laughs> a little bit fiddly to get off. Such a lot of mess under here as well. There's actually a little screw in these ones as well at the back here. Just remember as I was taking it off, I could sort of feel it didn't want to go. So, once again, you might just need to wire brush this off a bit. You can see there the screwdriver just don't want to go in it and I don't want to round it off. So, I'm just going to clean this off with a wire brush first. So, once again, a bit of WD 40. Um, and a wire brush and I can just just get to that a little tip if I can't get those out what I you do is I get an impact driver and I don't actually hit the impact driver I just kind of use the weight of the uh, the driver against the screw and it kind of comes out easier it's just something to do with the weight of the driver so let's take a look there and let's have a look and see if we can get this off I should just pull over there See there, you see the amount of dirt and rubbish we've got in there. Um, I've seen a lot worse actually, but you see all this lot. This is what causes belts, drive belts to come off. So obviously I want to clear that out. But now as you can see, I can get to this blade adapter and hopefully if I just push something under this here, I can just knock this off. Sometimes I'll have to get a bolt here to get a two jaw puller and put it around the edge, pull it against the bolt and this will actually pull it off. Once again, I'm going to spray this up and get some uh, some WD-40 something that loosens it off down the back of there for a few minutes just to give us a, hopefully give us a, a good start at this. I have different um, degrees of success at getting these off sometimes, not very often, you can just pull this off but a lot of the times I can get it off my hand if I just wriggle it a little bit and then tap it back up it eventually works its way down because there's a keyway in here and you're pulling it past the keyway so there's quite a bit of resistance especially if it's never been off uh, and sometimes as I've said I'll have to get a puller and I'll just put a bolt into it down to about uh, probably a couple of inches past here and put this puller on so I'll have a mess about with this just for a few minutes and if not I'll have to get the puller out so you can see after a little bit of a fiddle and a faff about as I've just started to pull this down it's just started to move down this uh, this shaft here and we've nearly got this off so just wriggling it about basically and just tapping it down a little bit as it's not going back on in this one I'm just going to uh, turn and tap this one all the way down to the bottom and eventually after a bit more wriggling about we'll get to this stage but what you don't want to lose here you see there's a, actually a keyway in here you don't want to lose that sometimes this drops out as you can see that's just starting to go there you want to keep that in the right place so um, all we've got to do is line that up with a new blade adapter this is, this is the old one I'm going to grab a new one uh, I'm just going to check the uh, the measurement where the pins are, make sure it's going to fit on this blade. But we'll just take the blade in there now. We'll just make sure that this uh, blade adapter is actually going to fit this blade. Let's take a look at one of these in here. Look. Um, we'll just see that that's, you can see there, that that's just not the right one. You can see how it's a different width. This one's just too wide. I actually bought these for this model mower. But actually I got sent two different ones. I got sent a second hand one, which is that one, which fits. And now I've got two of these, which are supposed to be for a 470. An SP470. I'm sure the last one I bought, I bought that one. And it didn't fit, I need to get another one. But as you can see, luckily for me, this uh, this one I bought, this is a second hand one. It's still about £6. And I hate buying parts. But it's not too bad. And this one actually fits nicely with these pins. that just sit through here as well. So I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to sharpen this blade up first. Um, that's just going to sit the keyway. You can see where the notch is there. I'll just slide back up on the keyway. And we'll tighten this up. Then when someone comes and takes this away, I know it's correct. I know the blade's on tight and I'm, I'm not going to get any comes back from some, someone that said the blade's flown off. That's the last thing you ever want. So, for the sake of £6, I'm going to uh, give that profit away to make sure this mower's safe. I'll just try and check this keyway before I put it back in. As you can see, the pins were broke off that blade adapter. 
and this keyway actually looks like it's seen better days it's quite a couple of notches in there I mean I've had this started and running and it didn't kick back when I started it or anything like that but all it takes with the mower is just to have a little kink out of it you can see how it just changes shape slightly there and it just to be not sat slightly uh, correctly in the mower and this what this does is this um, this keyway basically sets the whole time and where the, the blade spins round. If this isn't correct, and what can happen is you can still have spark and you can still have fuel going through and everything seems like it'll work. But if your timing's out, just by a fraction, by getting a keyway that's just slightly off or it's been hit, what you'll get is spark and fuel and you wonder why your mower don't run. It's because it's actually timing, it's a spark at the wrong time. And all that can be caused by this little keyway. So I'm actually going to go and see in my garage if I've got another one of these.